Hey, good morning, y'all. So I think today I'm going to be making some uh, using my garden-grown cherry tomatoes. And I think I'm going to be making oxtail stew today. So y'all hang out with me while I make this and we'll see how it turns out. All right. All right, y'all. So I got my fresh cherry tomatoes out the freezer. I'm going to be blanching them for about five seconds um, to let the skin come off. And that's what we're going to use into our base with our stew. We got some potatoes. We got some seasoning. We got some carrots, uh, uh, matched sticks of carrots that we're going to throw in there. We got two onions we're going to chop up and put in there, bell pepper. And we got our two packs of oxtails. So we are going to be uh, using oxtail meat in our stew today. All right, y'all, hang out. Hey, guys, I forgot to show y'all the garlic. So we got some garlic here. I think I've got some already broken apart, so I'll check that. But I believe I do. Okay, guys, the, I just wanted to share this with you all. The key for me when making oxtails is to make sure that you cut off and remove the fat that's on your oxtails because otherwise oxtails can be greasy. I will tell you that. But I believe the key to it is removing as much of the fat as you can, excess fat, or buying ones in the store that don't have that much fat on them before you begin to cook them. So as you can see, that's a lot of fat that I cut off of these oxtails. So um, just remember, I think that's a good tip to know. Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to share something with you all. A lot of people don't, oh, don't realize this because I saw somebody cooking with uh, fresh garlic and um, I think they may not have known that, you know, all of this, you know, once all this comes off, um, you break it down to the point where you get the little individual garlics and you break them apart, pull them out of, pull them out of the wrapping. And once you pull them out of the wrapping, you get all these little cute sealed packages, so to speak. And then you have to peel the skin off of this to utilize these garlic. So I'm gonna take one, I guess I'll take this one. And you just basically find a part that's open and you start peeling the skin off of it. And this way, um, you get down to the heart of the garlic. I know some people are, probably already know this, but there are some people who don't know this because originally when I started cooking, I didn't know this. So once we move that, we have our fresh garlic and it smells delicious, guys. So I'm just gonna trim off the ends and then I'm gonna chop this up to add this to my recipe. Have frozen oxtails. You can see we've got them added to the pot. We're going to be adding onions. Garlic. We're adding the garlic. And we're adding the bell peppers. All right, so we've got all our ingredients in there. beef stock added. Uh, we also are going to go ahead and add our tomatoes in. Now, I didn't remove the skin of all these, so we'll we'll see how it goes. But for now, we're just going to pour the ones in that I've thawed out into our dish. And we've removed the stems, of course. Now, we're going to close this up, put this in the pressure cooker, close it up. 
Uh, cook it for about 50 minutes under pressure cooking. Then we're going to open it up, see what we're working with. And at that time, I'll determine if everything's done all the way through. If the meat is cooked all the way through, then we'll go ahead and add our uh, diced potatoes and our matchstick carrots. All right, guys. Keep in mind that during the warming up process, your meat is going to thaw a bit while the pressure cooker is building heat. Remember that it is going to thaw a bit while it's building heat. So you basically, as the recipe said, can kill two birds with one stone without having to wait for that to um, wait for that to set. All right, so we've got our pressure cooker set for 50 minutes, and we're gonna come back and check this and see what we're working with. All right, guys, let's check out what we got. All right, let's take this lid on, see what we're working with. Ooh. All right, so we got tomatoes boiling in here. peppers, our onions. Alright. Alright guys, so we're adding our beef stew mix. Alright guys, let's add in our diced potatoes. Another, let's see, we're going to let this cook for another um, five minutes. So we are setting this for another five minutes, guys. And hopefully our potatoes and everything will cook up and be delicious. All right, guys. So we have completed our oxtail stew. Y'all can see the oxtail in there. We got our potatoes, our carrots. We've also got green beans and corn in there. And we got our Mexican cornbread that we made today with jalapeno peppers. So we intend to enjoy this thoroughly. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching.